uh, for those of you with the uh, E30, E30s and having the uh, parasitic drain problem, well, finally I found a solution. Well, first of all, uh, I read online of this of some guy uh, having the same problem with his truck that, uh, and how he fixed his for the past four years. I've been replacing batteries, and I guess for me it was my second battery right now. And uh, I was just uh, getting uh, disappointed, like how to fix it. I was just upset, you know, like all the time having this problem. And it wasn't, it wasn't. I didn't like it at all, driving a car with a problem and having to uh, take my uh, negative cable out all the time when I'm not using the car. It was just a lot of work, and I was frustrated. So finally, after after four months of uh, looking online. I found and uh, I fixed a couple of places that might have been the, the problem for the parasitic drain. First of all, I, I was suspicious about my power window because once in a while it would just not work at all. So what I did was um, uh, I took my uh, cover off, the cover off, and I saw my terminal was rusted, and there was a lot of wires that had the the, the, the green deposit. I don't know what it is uh, from the battery and uh, what I did was uh, it was no way for me to put it back after cleaning it I cleaned a lot and it, it, was, it wasn't just good so what I did was um, I just cut it out completely and I just soldered the wires back together and after that my power window was fine and my power mirror was working after properly too and the next thing I checked for that I also read online was that some people having trouble with their uh, with their power antennas and they're not working and uh, not working and, and uh, just draining out battery, I guess. When I well, after I disconnected it, uh, was my car was was getting better because every single morning I wake up, my car didn't have any power uh, charge in it and no juice left in the battery. And I had to just boost it all the time, and I have a boost cable, which you can see here. And well, that kind of helped. Uh, I, I, I could have been using my car for a day or two, uh, keeping like that. The, the, the terminals connected and the next thing I checked for was the uh, ammeter test that was the way the way the way the, the, the guy did it online and the credit goes to him I think his name was Bob he had a truck with the same problem and the way he did it was to take the positive side of the battery out uh, the cable out and set your ammeter to 10 amps just to avoid blowing fuses because if you set it too low and your car is draining more power than 10 amps or um, it might blow the fuse and once you start the car or something or not start but you know put it to on position and of course the positive side goes to the positive side of the amp meter we're doing a test for amp meter so it's gotta be here and the positive terminal of the amp meter which is this, this thing goes to the positive side of the battery and the negative goes to the positive side of the cable of the car and one side I, I, I would have it like this and I would ask someone to, uh, to remove each and every single fuse and put it back for me and I want to see if, if, the, if the thing drops if the, um, the reading drops so once the reading drops that means that that fuse which is responsible for any accessories in the car or anything in the car is going to be responsible for the parasitic drain too and for your car to be operating normal and uh, not draining battery it's supposed to be between 0.02 and uh, uh, 0.035 amps uh, so you can be using your car and not having any drain problems and so uh, I'll just connect it like that and ask someone to remove the fuses and once the reading once the reading drops that means that that's the fuse that has is responsible for the parasitic drain. Well I did this and I found out that I found out that in my my uh, fuse number 27 under the hood was responsible for the parasitic drain. And fuse number 27 in E30s uh, which were for my car is an 86 uh, 325e uh, fuse number 27 is responsible for uh, the interior lights the onboard computer and the central locking system
and the uh, power antenna, which I had removed already. Don't remember. Well, what happened was that uh, um, once I did the test, my reading was uh, about 200 milliamps. Right now it's at 20, 20 milliamps, and. I, I disconnected my uh, central locking system, but it didn't help at all. It didn't help at all. So uh, the next thing I was suspicious about that people were writing online that uh, some of the E30s have uh, have the uh, heater locks. Yeah, heater locks. Uh, well, I checked this driver si uh, the passenger side. There was nothing. But then I was suspicious about the uh, passenger side. Once I checked the passenger side, uh, the, the driver side. And uh, I I found out something. It was like right behind the lock, uh, something like right behind the lock, and it was kind of rusted too. And it had a connector, so I just disconnected it. And once I did my my ammeter test again, and it dropped to 0.02. That's 20 milliamps, and my car is operating normal now. No more draining and no more having to remove my battery cable or my fuse anything like that having to worry about my car draining out battery if everything is all right now everything's good and uh, so far so good nothing nothing else is wrong my car starts fine and oh also i want to show you one more thing when i did uh, when i disconnected that when i disconnected that uh, that uh, culprit the the heater lock my reading for the, uh, for the cable was uh, let me see usually my battery was at 11.7 something like that which was not good and right now it's reading at 12.6 and also my uh, also my uh, what is it My, uh, when, when I have the car on running and uh, my reading for the voltage it shows me about 13.94 that's almost 14 volts which is very good and just before I had disconnected the uh, disconnected the uh, heater lock on the pass on the driver side the passenger passenger side doesn't have so and uh, right before that was about 13. Point 13.26 I think 13.26 so I figured out it was the it was the, it was a problem the heater lock was a problem on the driver's side and so for those of you who have having problem same as I did I hope this helps everybody with the same problem and and just leave me comments what do you think about the video and, and see you guys.